Welcome back, Linux lovers. This is Total OS Today, total technology for beginners and beyond. Before we take a look at the latest Kubuntu daily build of 18.04, I did want to say thank you. Uh, last month was a little bit of a rough month. I had two people, two close friends of mine, pass away. Thank you for your thoughts. I'm okay. I'm still here. You may have noticed I haven't posted anything in like three days, but I'm okay. I'm still here. And I just wanted to say thank you for your thoughts. Uh, also say thank you. This month marks eight years of this channel. I never thought in a million years I would still be doing this in eight years. Uh, and al almost 2,000 videos, almost. I'm not quite there. That's, that's a staggering number to say the least. It's clear that many of you, uh, Linux continues to be uh, a continuing ongoing interest for many of you. And I think that's fantastic. I would like to think that this channel was one of the um, pioneers in that Linux movement, as it were. So thank you. I was looking at the numbers of the channel. Everything is looking up. The views, watch time, your engagement in the live shows, everything is up. Well, almost everything. The uh, AdSense revenue is still a joke. But I know YouTube is trying to fix things. But that's been one nagging, one nagging bug, as it were. But that being said, thank you for eight years of the channel. All right, let's take a look at Kubuntu 18.04. This is a daily build. If you are a Windows user and have no clue what a daily build is, think of that, think of it this way. You're building a house and it ain't quite finished yet. That's the best analogy I can use for a daily build. You can use this, you can install this, but it's gonna have bugs because it's not finalized. So if you have a, a, a spare machine, great. If not, use a virtual machine, or I'm testing this in a bootable USB stick. So let's move along. This will not be a full review, but KDE Desktops is all about customizations. Uh, this one feels pretty good. Running this off a USB stick, of course, you guys know, if you don't know, all about customizing KDE, such as adding widgets. Uh, KDE, the Plasma Desktop, keeps getting better, uh, in my opinion. It feels better. It looks better. Again, this is all about uh, customizations. Uh, I don't know how well this will run uh, uh, running this off a USB stick, but that being said, it feels uh, pretty good so far, stable enough to test. Um, I did have to um, had to install Kazam Screen Recorder uh, to record this. Hopefully, it won't crash before I upload this to the uh, to the YouTube channel. So let's move along. Of course, uh, you can right click on the desktop. Many customization features here. Layout, uh, folder view, desktop view, mouse actions, location, icons, so forth. Some of you have said that maybe uh, this might be uh, a, dist a distro, a distribution that may be a little bit too much for beginners. Possible, but I think once you get used to Linux, I think the KDE desktop may be uh, worth your consideration if you are. Uh, a Windows user. You can change the height of the panel. <laughs> if you have really badass, really bad eyesight, yeah, that's just about right. Okay, I'm just being silly there. Uh, that's about right for me. More settings, uh, always uh, visible, auto hide, Windows can cover, Windows below, maximize. I think you get the picture panel alignment, uh, right, center, left. <clears throat> Uh, this may not align immediately uh, running this in a um, uh, live environment. But that being said, let's see, screen edge. There we go. We can move it that way. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think I like it better at the bottom. So let's go panel options, panel settings, hold that screen edge and drag it that way. There we go. All right. That's a little better. Okay. These are the short, the uh, icons here, the uh, default shortcuts. Time and date, status notifications. The one thing I noticed about the uh, mixer here, this looks fine, but for input, it doesn't have a volume meter. Uh, I don't get it. Obviously, you can crank this up, as you see here, but there should be some kind of a level meter uh, so you can see if this is actually working. This, Without that function, this makes it almost worthless, in my opinion, strictly my opinion. 80% I think is about right, but without that meter, it doesn't make it very user-friendly in my opinion. Now, I know you can go into the Pulse Audio Mixer and look at it there, but it should be right here ready to go. Uh, and that's why I like the um, Ubuntu Desktop or Ubuntu Mate as my desktop of choice for beginners. 
Okay, so we have a, a launcher here to install Kubuntu. This has an automatic installer, so this should be fairly uh, easy to install uh, Ubuntu-based uh, operating systems. The start button, or I think it's called the K launcher. Now going back to customizations, I don't, this is not my particular launcher here, how this looks. Um, however, why don't we um, right click alternatives and let's go into the application menu switch. And I think for beginners, anyway, for myself also, I think this will be better if you are coming uh, from a Windows environment. So let's take a look at this real quick. Mathematics, science, graphics, internet, lots of internet, of course, Firefox by default, multimedia. I had to install um, Kazam, uh, K3B, probably the best disk burner, uh, if anybody burns disks anymore. VLC player, a fantastic player. Office, the usual LibreOffice suite, settings. Let's go to system settings. Let's go to maximize that. Let's take a look at this real quick theme. Just a couple themes, but you can click get new looks here and get new themes, desktop theme. This is wonderful. And this is what the GNOME desktop lacks out of the box. You have to install in extensions uh, to further explore the GNOME desktop. And that to me is not quite user friendly as it is compared to this, strictly my opinion. Colors, well, lots to choose from. Fonts, some choices here. Icons, uh, lots of choices here. Again, this might be a bit overwhelming for beginners, but it's not that difficult. Desktop behavior, window management. I, I think you, you probably get the picture start up and shut down the theme and yeah anyway get new theme here search accounts account details regional settings notifications applications and the list goes on and on i won't go to all of these but um yeah it's not that difficult to learn you can hit the uh hotkey bring up the launcher as you see there uh, let's search for let's see uh, let's type in music see what comes up all right let's go to uh, audio and video audio hardware setup sound card profile sound device you can test Front, right. there we go Front, left. and that's definitely working this is running pretty nicely inside a virtual uh, environment uh, or off a USB stick rather. Let's go ahead and right click this again. Let's go to alternatives. Let's take a look at one more application dashboard. Hit switch there and hit the super key. And again, something different. Let's take a look at the system monitor. Uh, 554 megabytes. That's not bad considering I'm running their recorder. Under Ubuntu with GNOME, it was up to two gigs, like four times as much. So this is pretty lightweight. Um, all things considered. Keyboard, the built-in keyboard uh, shortcuts, hit anything on the keyboard. Um, this is, uh, is this the K launcher? No, I forget what this is called. Uh, but this is pretty nice. Nice, fast, and responsive. If you type in Firefox, <laughs> everything related to Firefox. Uh, software Center, I'm, I don't know why it's bringing up the Software Center. Ice Weasel, that's another browser there. Uh, let's see. Let's go. In fact, speaking of the uh, software, let's go to the uh, software center and get, get Bleach Bit. And this brings up the Discover Software Center. Not my favorite um, uh, software center package manager. Uh, let's click install. Let's see if this works. It should. Now, this is running off a USB stick. It won't save whatever changes you make or any installations once you reboot. Just want to see if it works. All right, that was pretty quick. That came up almost immediately. That's pretty fast running off a USB drive. Uh, I'm running this off my test machine if you're interested. It's only four gigs of RAM. But overall, yeah, this is running pretty good. I really don't have anything bad to say it uh, to say except I wish I wish it have I wish it had a built-in level meter under the audio settings. Um, and I don't why it still doesn't have that. That's not newbie friendly or user friendly, in my opinion. Let's just take a look at the software center real quick. It looks like they've done some improvements to this uh, multimedia. 
Okay. Well, I guess it's not too bad. Let's see if it'll install Clementine, a very nice music player. Let's see if that'll work. Downloading. Looks like it's there. Let's try to launch a different one. Let's just hit the keyboard. Ah, oh, there we go. CL and Clementine. All right, that's, that's not bad at all. Came right up. And um, yeah, a lot faster than Ubuntu with GNOME, I can tell you that. Well, what do you think, guys? I think for a daily build, this is this overall is looking um, pretty good. Uh, I may come back to this after the final release around April 20th or something like that. I'm not sure when I'll have to uh, take a look. But so far, Kubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver is looking pretty good. This, of course, has the Dolphin uh, file manager. For some, this may be the best uh, file manager out there. Well, it's certainly not bad. You know, when it comes to file managers, I'm not really picky. As long as they work, I'm fine just about with any uh, file manager. Of course, this one here, I think it's probably, and not probably, probably the most customizable out of everything I've seen out there. Uh, but again, just strictly my opinion. So, okay, that's my quick take on uh, Kubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver. Uh, if I missed anything, you can uh, post them below in the show notes and we'll go from there. So once again, thank you for watching and listening. Thank you for your thoughts. Thank you for almost eight years of this Total OS Today channel. It's been a pleasure. If you can, support the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. All the links will be below in the show notes. Okay, so why don't we get out of this and shut down in 28... Uh, well, <laughs> maybe I should stop the recorder first. Duh. Yeah, so I'm going <laughs> to finish recording. I'm okay. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.